What's up, y'all? My jujitsu journey, week number nine. Check it out. All right, so this week, I'm coming off of two hot weeks of the Ashi learning legs, and I brought a friend with me today, so I won't be by myself. Got the dummy in the car. I'm gonna swap out. I'm gonna bring this dummy, which is fresh, not broken in, and I'm gonna drop it off at the dojo, and Matthew's gonna use it, work it in a little bit. Excited about this week. So I wasn't feeling all that great. I didn't get much sleep last night. I actually took like an hour nap right before I left. So I'm feeling rested. I do feel like I just woke up from a nap though. We'll see how that factor works into all this. I have a feeling I'm in for a pretty busy rolling session. I bet you we're gonna do a lot more rolling than we do any techniques today coming off of those leg days. And I kind of hope so. I hurt my calf running on Monday. I tried to do some minimalist running where you basically run mostly on the balls of your feet. So it's mostly your calf, so you're, it's not as hard on your knees. And about two miles in, I was almost home. I felt something pop in my left calf. That did not feel good. So I haven't been running at all because I don't want to I don't want to injure it. I don't I wanna try to nurse it, but I gotta use it, but I don't want it to tear or rip. So I wonder what that's gonna do to me. I did not bring my gum. Ah. Sorry. I also haven't eaten anything today, so I should be good. You know, it's been cool. Um, I have been getting reached out by other like jujitsu players who watch the video, watching videos. Right. It's just cool to hear someone's perspective on learning legs. Or it's so funny because one of the guys said, "If my instructor found out I taught somebody legs eight weeks in, oh, yeah. he said I get work." I agree. Yeah, Matthew. Because yeah, they're so dangerous. Right. I'm telling you, Matthew, Matthew said like he was going to forego a lot of the formalities and I'm only rolling with him. Yes. And so he... And, and he, he's right. No, he's it's totally right. so dangerous. No, it's totally right. So dangerous. Like, was, you have no idea how it is. It was cool to, you know... Plus, his point is he's really against it because you could hurt others. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, so sure. no instructor yeah. out there is doing that. But okay. you'll notice I prefaced it with dude. Of course. Here's the story on this. This is called the dark art for sure. a reason. Yeah, it's so I, dangerous. I, so no warming up today, no stretching. Okay. I'll show you why. I, I purposely want you vulnerable, having not stretched. Right. And we're going to warm our bodies like this. Go, and you are rolling with a brand new baby kitten who, if you accidentally put too much weight on, dies. Okay. So, uh-uh, that's too much. Okay. So, notice how I'm grabbing your wrist. See, you See what I mean? Like, I'm not even, like, I'm I'm pretending you're a man. Yeah. And what I'm doing is I'm just, and then you have to go with me. Yes, right. just like that. So, it's kind of like a thing where, like, I'm going to take it back. Boom. Right. Now, you make sure, hey, am I in a perfect defensive position? Where am I looking to go? Two things. And this is how we're going to roll. We're going to roll and we're going to teach. This is a different way to teach. So when we get our hooks in, now this was the old way of hooks. A hook here, a hook there. You know what I mean? Okay. Seat belt grip. That means this one all the way okay. this one covers. Okay. That's your that's your standard. What we do now is we go with a hand across as far as we can. And then depending on where we fall, watch. The legs are like this. So see how I have that leg all the way across? The other way because you're, the other side. Yes, you're trying to beat my hooks. Those are your ways of escaping. So two different ways of escaping. Beating my hooks or beating my head trap. How do you beat my head trap? I had no. Yes, go to the floor. It's very difficult for you to choke me now. Go ahead and try it. Now, right here, I realize you're gone. I no longer can okay. really effectively choke you. Watch what I do with this hand. Just a really unique thing that you'll do time and time again. Look for the best push pull you can get. Yes. And now you look for a two on one. And then I look for a two on one. So we'll start with a hand fight. And you want to get good at hand fight. Guys who have amazing grips are very difficult to hand fight. Sometimes you're with a guy in your hand fight and you cannot get out. Yeah, it's just weird. I'll often threaten wrist locks only to get position, but people don't like them, you know what I mean? So the hand fight is very important because it's that initial engagement. Mm -hmm. This is where it all starts when you get rolling. Typically in the gym, even though they typically start on the knees, it's kind of unrealistic. 
So chill. Ah, 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 ah. You'd never use that kind of strength. And if I feel your strength, it's too oh, much. Yeah. That's what this is going to be about today. Okay. The only thing you're allowed to use is technique. Good job. Yep, that's zero strength. Now you have a guillotine. Do you know what that is? Here. Yes. Now go ahead and just pull. Now, a better way to do a guillotine, and I don't like doing this to people because it's too devastating. And the reason I like doing this from time to time is number one, you won't learn a ton, but you'll hear a lot of different stuff. So that when we do it, it makes sense. There's plenty of classes where I'm in that class, I didn't learn a darn thing. But later, I'm like, oh, I remember right. that. Standard guillotine defense. Go ahead and put it on me. Okay. I'm trying to teach you common situations and be active with that leg. Active, build that muscle memory. Week nine, in the books. We did something different today. Today we did no speed, no strength, just technique. We did real technique. If I went too hard, he'd call me out. If I went too fast, he'd call me out. He said, you gotta think of it like cheating. Speed or strength is cheating today. Just technique. I spent a lot of time in the bottom of a, of a cross. He was in top cross. It's my least favorite position to be in, is top cross. Very heavy on the chest, hard to breathe. I don't wanna be there. So I have to train on how to get out of there. And that's what we did today. On creating space, throwing my shoulder and then dipping that elbow. Throwing my shoulder and dipping the elbow, trying to get that frame inside and then also try to get that knee or using the hip. So we shrimped a little bit today and I happened to do a little trade. It's a different dude, he's got some tears on him. Just a different dude, he's not as, uh, he's not as proud. Uh, not as stiff, so I got a nice little buddy here. He's uh, seen some miles. So I'm gonna work with him at home. He's probably easier for me to work with at home. I, I don't have a lot of space at home with the kids, so I'm gonna I'm gonna practice shrimping. I, I it's, it's all clicking now. Like I can't run because I I tweaked my left calf, and I, I want to protect that. I want to preserve that. So instead of running, I'm just gonna try to drill a lot. That's really what I'm gonna focus on: drilling with the dummy and shrimping. So I gotta get some mats, I really do. That's what I'm gonna focus on this week. I gotta get used to getting out of top cross and I gotta get used to being in there and staying calm and breathing. So a very fulfilling day. Matt said, you're not gonna learn much today, but in a few weeks, this session will have paid off. But immediately, you're not gonna feel it. You're not gonna right away feel like you learned a lot. He's talking about getting me in the dojo, to session at his dojo. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm ready for that, but he would know better than me. Probably in another month or so, I imagine he'll get me in the dojo on a Saturday afternoon or something when there's only a couple people in there. Have some fun, man. I love it. I feel like I'm making progress. This wasn't a wasted week, and I feel good about it, man. So thank you guys for watching, and I appreciate you. Until the next time, aloha.